All right. So, um, <laughs> what was that? All right. <laughs> um, so I, I created a video a while back um, showing you how to um, execute Python scripts within the uh, Apache web server. Um, it was on a small Mac and the, the resolution was um, pretty bad. So hopefully I'm on a Windows machine now and we can do an updated version of it. Um, so let's go. Um, I'm going to do it a bit different since I'm on a Windows machine. Um, so first I'm going to download Apache. Um, see which way I'm gonna get it from Apache Lounge is a yeah Apache um what the hell is all that um okay that's fine um yeah just go to the main one and look for downloads um close um I'm on a 64 bit machine so I'm gonna click the first one and then while I was downloading I'm gonna click on this for visual um, C++ on this right here, Visual C++. So click that. Um, open it. Looks like I already downloaded it once. I'm going to hit install. Open the, uh, the zip file for Apache. That was a quick install. Alright, so what I, I like to do, I like to just copy it over. So I'm going to go into, what is all this stuff? Um, file Explorer. Um, let's just go right here. C colon. Um, I'll let you just copy it over into it. Um, to the root of my um, of my drive of my computer of the C drive because um, you can have more than one one drive. <coughs> Forgive me if the mic is bad. <laughs> it's always something. If there's either the resolution or the mic, I'm using some cheap Logic Logitech uh, headset. Um, okay, so while this is uh, extracting, well, we're done here anyways. So what, when this is done, I'm going to rename the folder. It's just a preference. You can, leave, you can leave it the way it is, but I like just calling it Apache. Okay. Um, and the problem with that, once you install that, you got to go into the config file. I'm sorry, not that. The config, uh, where is that guy? The config file and update the um, HTTPD dot conf so I'm gonna open this with uh, Visual Studio Code this guy here um, and you would just have to point it because right now it's pointing to this right here it's pointing to uh, uh, Apache 24 in which I, I renamed it so if you left it the way it was you, there was you can just leave it the way it is I'm gonna save that um, what else we have to do um, I think we're gonna have to um, just call it the local host uh, what line that says? Um, admin, we don't care about that. Um, I'm looking to see where I'm, I'm, I'm going to rename something. So the server name, for instance, so 20, this guy is commented out. So we're going to give it the name since I'm on, we're doing it local, local development. So if you're on your local machine, just put localhost or um, the loopback um, IP address 127.0.0.1, or you could just put localhost. Um, so that's it for that. And um, to go back up, up uh, here, we're going to allow all. Okay. Um, and since we're, we're, we're already here, we might as well just keep going to for the CGI stuff, right? So that would be, where is it, 400 something. Uh, there it is. Add handler. We're going to uncomment that. And we're going to add a space dot .py for Python. So it's going to be all, all Python files. And then we're going to look for back, go back up and look for the directory for the um, ht, ht docs directory, um, this guy here. So for here, um, we're just going to exec, oops, what did I just say? Exec CGI, add it at the end of that, save it. Um, and that's it. So we can just bring up a terminal. I'm going to just run it. You don't have to run as administrator. I just like running as administrator because you never know. Um, 
meaning uh, we're going to try to install it as a service. I don't want I don't want um, to receive any um, permissions errors. So I'm going to go into the I'm going to go into CD into the uh, Apache bin folder, and then I'm going to just run HTTP hit space. I'm on, I'm not. I'm on um, this is PowerShell so if I was to run it like this without the dot forward slash and I'm going to do a dot T to test you get an error because PowerShell is like hey what, what is this command so you would have to use the, um, this command here and then dot T dot T is to text to test the syntax to make sure there's no um, no errors I'm um, strangely even though I, I um, this step says there's no errors, but when I install the ser as a service, or if I try to launch it, it says a, it was an error. But we can just bypass that first error, um, in which there will be an error when we try installing it. But it's fine. I think it's something to do with like the, the name or the admin name or something like that. Um, okay, so let's go into the install. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna do a K, um, and just install. See, it says it was installed successfully, but then you get an error after it tests it. But it's fine because if I go into, if we go into services, um, we see Apache. The service has been installed, but it's not running as you can see. So we can actually run it here, or we can just run it from the command. Let's do it from the command line um, to 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 install or to run it from the command line. Just start. Okay, then refresh. Now you see it's running. So now I can just go into localhost, refresh. So we have it working. Apache is up and running. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna um. I I believe we did everything for as far as for um. Python. We 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 configured everything here. So we're good to go. Um, we could just create a new file. Um. The only, the only, the only difference with this file, um, I don't like this method because you're gonna have to add shebang, you know the, um, um, C, oops, what is going on? Um, you're gonna have to add this, like, like every time. Um, well, it doesn't recognize it. Let me just save it. I'm gonna call it a, uh, um, test, and then put it in the uh, HT docs. And it's not a tech, it's not a plain file, it's a Python file. So just do dot py. Okay. Um, so now we can actually um, just just start typing, right? So now we're gonna have to add the shebang. When I when I was talking about the shebang is this guy here, right? not the one, but that's the shebang, right? So we, that's required. So you just gotta point it to the path of your um, your uh, Python installation, in which mine's is this is my path. Yours may be different, but just copy the path, paste it, and then just put python.exe at the end of it. Hit enter. That's it. And the next thing you'd have to do, you have to provide it the header. Um, the header will just basically let the browser know uh, what type of what type of file we're serving, right? Is if this is a, a plain text file, if it's a um, HTML file, is it a JSON file? you know so it could parse it correctly so in this case we're just gonna it's gonna be HTML so we're gonna just do a print and then we can just say content type um, and then just gonna be the text HTML and then give it like two to um, um, spaces I mean returns um, and that's it um, then we could just print out what what we want we could do this now now let me just now this right here this right here is going to be required for every Python script you create so this is going to always be required but anything down here is going to be your own custom scripts okay so right now I'm just put hello world you know the infamous hello world okay space um, save it and that's it um, uh, I think I called it tests there you go have it running it was less than what 
nine sec nine minutes <laughs> all that jibber jibber jabber okay so right now what we can do is we can actually make sure it's running by do some math right simple math because you know I don't know what's 127 plus four uh, let's give it some random number okay okay and then right here you can just put um you know simple simple string and then I'll put the value of that so I'm just say 127 plus 130 was that 130 I mean 437 equals now remember this is a string so this is not actually calculating anything you see it in quotes so it's a string so it's just gonna print out what you see there it's not gonna do any calculations but the sum will do the calculation right here okay save that and refresh and there you go 127 plus 1 so you actually know that it's actually running the Python scripts so in the next video uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit um, go a little further where I, I would like to use Django, right? I would like to run um, Django, you know, Python, the Django's a, um, a famous, uh, very popular um, framework for Python. Um, so we're gonna um, use that and we're gonna run it within Apache instead of using Django's uh, development server. All right, see you then.